when there's people coming at you from all sides. The narcissists, the flying monkeys, coworkers, friends, the smear campaign is full on. How do, how do you protect yourself? So I thought of the gladiators or the Spartans from 300 shielding when they're covering themselves from all directions. So what is shielding? Most of us have heard of gray rocking, um, stonewalling, firewall. Well, shielding is making sure you protect yourself from every direction. And how do we do that? Well, the one thing that happens is when the narcissist creates the smear campaign, they create flying monkeys. That came from the term from the Wizard of Oz. So the Wicked Witch, she has her flying monkeys that work for her and go hunt down Dorothy and the rest of the crew. So the narcissist does the same thing. They'll turn your family against you if they're able to. They are obviously already turned against you with the whole um, devaluation phase. They start to turn your friends against you, neighbors, coworkers. It comes from everywhere. So this is why I came up with the term shielding. So how do you protect yourself? The way you have to do that is gray rocking can only last for so long. Usually do that when you're in somebody's personal space, not you know close, but you're, they're in front of you. So either not answering stuff that gives any detail or personal information. Just if somebody's like, are you gonna pick up the kids? Yes. Seven o'clock? Yes. You don't give any more information. You don't say, oh, you're going to the store first. You, do, you don't say anything. Then on the other side, not only flying monkeys, they create spies. These are people who stalk your social media account. They might use their own thing or they might create a different username to stalk your account and possibly either troll you or set you up. So these are there's a lot of things going on. Some of them might turn your own friends against you, coworkers trying to get you fired. So what do you do? So the only good thing I could say for sure is once you start to know who is and isn't on your side, this gives you clear vision. From here, you know who to trust and who not to trust. But remember, somebody could be acting really nice to you to get more information to give that back, which is like a mole or a spy. So you have to really be careful with who you share things with, especially if you're going through a divorce or anything like that, because the narcissist can and will use it against you in a court of law and way beyond. So what are things that we could do? If you know you have a bunch of your toxic person's friends on social media, say Facebook, you could either make sure they can only see a certain amount of your account because of restrictions, you could unfriend them and you could block them. I know sometimes this is hard to do because you don't want to create more waves, but it doesn't matter. They're coming after you. You have to protect yourself. Now, when we look at Instagram, what could we do with that? You could restrict their account where if they comment, nobody else could see but you, or you could block them. Or if your account is private, you let you make them unfollow you by removing them from your account. So this is stuff we do with social media. Now, when it comes to the phone, we could either block them or we could put, if we have an iPhone, put it on hide alert, where whenever they text you, it doesn't show up as a mixed text. You have to see it yourself. And then from there, you could do one of two things. You could either read it and get upset with the shit that's going on, or you could see who it is and just delete it and not answer because you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. The hardest thing that happens is you want to pretty much uphold your integrity and your sense of self and who you are, right? Your image where these people don't care. They're coming after you. So you have to do whatever you need to do to protect yourself. So these are just some steps to do that. Also with some people, you might just have to block them on your phone where their text message, voicemail, or calls will not go through. The thing is, you'll start to know who are your friends and who really aren't. Because the people that are coming at you from all directions with the smear campaign, because this is what the narcissist does when they're about to discard you, they wanna make sure they destroy your life on all ends. So you have nobody to go to, nobody there to help you, nobody to believe you. And that's one thing also is that most people who are abused, especially if it's a man, unfortunately, and they go tell somebody like, oh, my girlfriend or my wife's abusing me. They're like, yeah, right, she's an angel. She's so sweet. Because you got to remember, they have 
different personalities amongst different people. So all those people that are on their side could have either been enablers, manipulated by them, or they just think that you must be the problem. So you really have to protect yourself on all ends. If you notice you're going somewhere, if you do go out to bars or something and those people are there and they're starting with you, you don't go there anymore. You, go, you know who are and who aren't your friends. The thing is you have to find just maybe one or two people the most that you could really talk to that you trust within friends and family. A therapist is number one because that person is there for you and they've created a safe space for you to speak your mind. So these are important things to look at. So shielding is really protecting yourself from everything, whether it's your phone, calls, messages, texts, if you're on Facebook, Instagram, or any other social media platform. You have to do something to keep your sanity because this one, this is the one thing that they want to do is they want to take that away from you. They want to make you feel like you're the bad one. They're the victim. You're the abuser. You're the crazy one. And it will happen as long as you let all these people come at you from all directions. If you start to shield yourself and protect yourself, the impact will always be a lot less and the damage will be too. But here is where you have to do a lot of things you normally wouldn't do because this is not a normal situation. So you have to protect yourself and you have to do it at all costs because in the end, the only person that could care for you and take care of you in the end will always be yourself. You are your true soulmate. This is another thing with the twin flames and all that stuff. All that stuff is a dangerous concept. Once the narcissist changes and turns on you, you can't believe it, right? So now you're in a place of disarray. So now when you start to see the enablers starting to attack you from their side, the flying monkeys, the smear campaign, coworkers, friends, they'll go all out to just tarnish your image. You have to do what you can. So shielding is a combination of a lot of things. Also a gray rocking. Somebody you know that's trying to create triangulation with the narcissist is one of their friends. They're like, hey, Keith, how you doing? Good, what you do last night? This person never asked me that before. Why do they care? Oh, they're trying to see what I'm doing, trying to get information for the narcissist or the toxic person. So that the narcissist will just say, get somebody outside, whether it's a friend or family or just one of their friends, to start to triangulate things to try to bring up stuff. So when it's somebody that you don't really know or somebody that you really don't talk too much and all of a sudden they're overly interested in what you do and how you feel, they're not doing because they care about you. They're trying to get intel so they can give it back to the toxic person so they can manipulate you. Be aware of all these things. With stuff, don't share it with just anybody. Don't share what's going on. Keep the private things your secret. You share that with your therapist and if you're getting divorced, with your lawyer. You don't put it on social media. You don't make posts and videos smearing that person because you're gonna look like the bad one. So these are all little things you have to really look at to protect yourself. When you're speaking to your toxic person, just give them the information they need, whether it's you know picking up your kids, dropping them off, if it's paying a bill, don't give them any information. And anybody outside the relationship, don't give them anything either. It's none of their business. The thing that's got you into this mess was not upholding healthy boundaries. Now you're at a point where you really can't get that back, so you have to protect yourself by shielding. And this is even tougher, but now you have to stand up for yourself and be assertive, because if you don't, they're gonna come after you and take you down and hurt you as much as humanly possible and to even beyond that. So you have to really look at these things and take it very seriously and take some of the stuff and some of the tips I just gave you, put that into action right away, don't wait. You'll know who those people are right away and some will be lingering in the back like the slower zombies, but they're coming because they always do. So take care of yourself, love yourself, make the best out of this situation, learn from it so you don't repeat it ever again. Once you see those red flags, don't give that person the benefit of doubt. After this is all over, you have to learn to love yourself again. And once you get to that point, don't let anybody ever take it away from you.